standard design was as planned and the normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 km subsequently the communication from lander to ground station was lost the data is being analyzed the primary issues were uh, one that we had a an engine, there were five engines which was used to for giving the reduction of the velocity, it's called the retardation. This engines developed a little higher thrust than that was expected. It was on the higher side, but it was still within the specifications. But when such a higher thrust was happening, we were, uh, the errors on account of this differential was accumulated over some period. It was called a camera coasting phase on the last phase of it. Mm. During this time, the craft is supposed to be very steady to take pictures. So we can correct it at that time. So because of that period where it was not corrected, we did started correcting only at the end of it. When all the errors got accumulated, which was slightly higher than what we expected, the craft had to take, make very fast turns. And when it started turning very fast, its ability to turn was limited by the software because we never expected such high rates to come. Close 
closer to the south pole that is 70 degree to the south pole and in that doing so we face certain challenges the primary issues were uh, one that we had a an engine there were five engines which was used to for giving the reduction of the velocity is called the retardation this engines developed little higher thrust than that was expected it was on the higher side but it was still within the specifications but when such a higher thrust was happening we were uh, the errors on account of this differential was accumulated over some period it was called a camera coasting phase on the last phase of it mm. during this time the craft is supposed to be very steady to take pictures so we can correct it at that time so because of that period where it was not corrected we did started correcting only at the end of it when all the errors got accumulated which was slightly higher than what we expected the craft had to take make very fast turns and when it started turning very fast its ability to turn was limited by the software because we never expected such high rates to come so this was the second issue the third issue is it is yet to reach a uh, landing point which is still far away and we asked the craft to land only in high 500 meter by 500 meter area and the craft is trying to reach there by increasing velocity to reach there whereas it was not having enough time to the, it was almost close to the uh, floor, uh, ground so there was a contradictory requirement of reaching to the exact spot and uh, and uh, at the same time achieving a low velocity it became mathematically difficult for it to do it in the available time so finally when it actually did it it was fell short of almost a half a kilometer and the velocity of touch was higher so it is fundamentally there were issues in terms of the approaches that uh, that was taken how to correct the engine thrust dispersion by uh, accumulating errors over a period of time artificially limiting the ability of the vehicle to take turns and correction and the ability to calculate time to reach the required spot and also telling to land at the exact required spot instead of landing wherever it you can safely land what are things that can go wrong so we instead of success based design in chandrayaan 2 we are doing a failure based design in chandrayaan 3 what all can fail and how to protect it so this is the approach that we are taken so for that we did many things one we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer 4 kilometer along the track and 2.5 kilometer width anywhere it can land so it doesn't limit you to target a specific point it will target a specific point only in nominal conditions 4 by 2.5 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer suppose the performance is poor it will it can land anywhere within that area second uh, method is that we gave more fuel so that it has, it has more capability to travel or candle dispersions or move to an alternate landing site so this is the second approach then we looked at very many failures sensor failure engine failure uh, the, con the, the algorithm failure uh, calculation failure even whatever may fail nothing is there still we wanted it to land at the required speed and rate so there are different different failure scenarios calculated and programmed it